Shout out, bro. Take the old oil to the back of the dumpster, dump it out. Have good conversation. My dog, Sir Jason. Yes, his name was Sir Jason. I thought he was trolling. Bro, if your name has a sir in front of it and you're working fast food, if you don't stop and join the royal family, what are you doing? You're folding in life. Sir Jason, put my fries in the bag. That just, that just don't sound right. <laughs> What your job says about you and Dior, this video better not be in negative five decibels. Let's go ahead and see. Feeling like an iPhone. Oh my God. Hold up. Ah, okay, okay. My headphones are low. All right, last time the video, like his video was so low, I had to boost it in the stream. It was ridiculous. But all right, let's get into it. There's no other feeling like an iPhone alarm waking you up out of your sleep, getting up out of your bed, and getting your ass ready for work. Fucking in the work. See, see. What y'all be, y'all be picking them violent, oh, don't curse, cursing off. Y'all be picking them violent ass, PTSD inducing ass alarms, bro. You know which one you gotta use? You gotta use this joint right here, bro. You gotta use this one. That is beautiful. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, bro, turn, turn that, turn that off, bro. Cursing back on. No, 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 no. I said cursing off. I said cursing off. Come on. experience because you love your job and everything about it. Or then I won't wake up. You know what you do? Well, I mean, this only works if you have multiple devices. I have this phone that has that alarm that I just played. The other one plays the loud one 30 minutes later outside in the kitchen. You fucking hate it. And when I had a traditional job, I fucking hated it. And boy, boy, I had every job in the book. So as a former seasoned civilian of the workforce, I. I saw Dior like filling up gas one time, like before we actually started content, like he would be one of them people that would be outside, like filling up the gas for the people. I remember I told him 40 on pump three one time, gave him a $2 tip. That's why he rocks with me now. Glad you came up, boy. Glad you came up, boy. I will be rating the worst jobs you can have. Not to be organized and keep me from rambling off on tangents, because I will do that. The criteria in which I'm rating these jobs will go as Talk to me. One, co-workers and managers. Two, job difficulty. And three, okay. the bullshit you gotta deal with that was not in the And coming in first, fast food. The only fast food. Bro, no cap. Bro, the thing is, the thing is, I never worked like fast food per se. I worked at Chipotle. But like with this whole fries in the bag joke going on right now, if someone actually unironically told me to put the fries in the bag, I might put them in the bag, bro. I, I don't have the, I, I can't do it. The restaurant that I worked at was a Taco Bell slash Pizza Hut. The area to entry to begin working there was very low. Matter of fact, the day I went in. I mean, you got the job. We know, my fault. For an application, the manager came from the back, hired me on the spot. Asked if the earliest I could start was. To anyone who gets a job on site the day of their interview, I'm telling you right now, Run. It's not for you. They gonna have you cleaning toilets. They gonna have you changing catalytic converters of customers. They gonna have you on the rooftop sweeping that hole. I'm telling you, bro, any job that is so desperate that they hire someone directly after the interview, people aren't working there for a reason. I remember this one time I was working at a grocery store and they had me cleaning, like, you know the lights that be above like cash registers? They had me cleaning those because I was the only tall person to get hired. Meaning, bro, them holes was so dirty because no one cleaned it for like a year. Bro, don't do it. Don't do it. In a very humble. Now, the co-workers and managers. Honestly, on the cooler end. Because you got to think about the people that are working fast food. You have the kitchen staff, which in Texas, in my area, were a lot of little Mexican ladies that didn't speak English. And I appreciate them so much. Because of them, in my whole year of working there, I didn't make a single taco for a month. I was strictly cash register and pizza maker. My other co-workers were kind of like me as well. Shout out my boy Serene. I don't know where you are today, but I hope you're doing well. Him Shout and I out, bro. Take the old oil to the back of the dumpster, dump it out, have good conversation. My dog, Sir Jason. Yes, his name was Sir Jason. I thought he was trolling. Bro, if your name has a sir in front of it and you're working fast food, if you don't stop and join the royal family, what are you doing? You're folding in life. Sir Jason, put my fries in the bag. That just, that just don't sound right. When he first told me. He was a cool dude and he could rap. He would pull up to work. Rap? If you don't wrap a crown around your head, what? So faded. But Sir Jason, he had a very theatrical ending. He wasn't the best cashier or the best cleaner or the best at. He's royalty. He's not meant to be working. Customers. I said the N word again. Oh my God. Or anything at all. On the last day when the manager got on his ass about being slow, he said, 
he went and f***ed his job and walked out. Now the managers. At the time, these seemed like adults to me. But now that I'm older, these are just older kids managing yeah. younger kids. I had 100%. Many. One of them was this hood Asian girl. Pink box braids. Was in a relationship with one stud. And was busy with come back to the kitchen and help us. Was not employed or on payroll. I used to love this manager because she had the biggest crush on me. Almost a little too big. She wanted to partake in my seminal fluid so bad that whenever any partake in my seminal fluids writing that down that's a that, that's a good one um you're definitely hearing that in a, um in a animation yo yo haircut today um I'm, I'm getting my hair braided somebody would ask me to wash dishes she would say no he doesn't wash dishes he don't have to and would literally tell Ooh. me to go look pretty some i came with a price as well though because whenever i was a cashier at the window and some fine would pull up she would remove me from that spot and take care of the order moving on to the job difficulty it wasn't that hard it was just kind of tedious and annoying like it's made me now move First time in stream, yo, yo, what's good? What's good? Just Beast, what's good, Eli? So we need you on NBA 2K25. Bro, I'll be the only player where the green still results in a brick. You do not want me on that. Move a certain way at establishment. I'm always pushing my chair in, trying not to get too much food on the floor. Because that was the stuff that annoyed me. And it was just constant repetition. And now moving on to the bullshit. Because it was Talk a lot to me. of that. The main thing was the unsanitary shit that I had to see and deal with. These things normally only came up during very busy hours. That was like, I mean, of course. People had lunch break. And at nighttime like 10 p.m some of the things that we had to do might not get me into heaven not because i was doing that but because i didn't put a stop to it god's gonna be like yo bro what was that about two things come to mind specifically on a busy day we had one fresh pan of meat left this is when those doritos tacos was late every order let me get 10 down i would hate to work at a restaurant when an item is lit Starbucks with the Stanley cups i mean target with the Stanley cups uh, isn't wendy's dropping a um a krabby patty why? I understand Chick-fil-A dropping the Krabby Patty. I understand McDonald's dropping a pat Krabby Patty. Shit. I even understand like five guys dropping the Krabby Patty. Wendy's? The only thing lit about y'all is y'all's Twitter community, bro. And that's even mid. Bro, you do not, you don't have the facilities. You don't have the facilities to be dropping a Krabby Patty. Your shit was the four for four. That's a curse word. You know what? That's nine right there. You don't have enough employees. You don't have the, you don't have the bread nor the infrastructure. Wendy's aren't big enough for that, bro. No, no, no. Someone's going to walk in saying rev up in the fryers. You're not going to be able to handle the lines. Your employees are going to crash out. They're not making enough cooked cooked bro 69 wendy's is up there stop it stop it i've never been with a group of people and someone said let's go get wendy's no no there's so many more options before wendy's is even considered what are we talking about what are we talking wendy's is garbage and this is come eli said that he's someone that goes to whataburger I'll put Whataburger over Wendy's, and Whataburger is doo-doo. Bro, I'm Muslim, and the Baconator still slaps. Hey, yo. You not a... You... Is he allowed to... He, nah, he he not. That's not. Huh. Bring the pan in, and I don't know what the f happened. He tweaked out, dropped the pan, all the meat. Oh the hell no! Nah. That happened. The whole world stopped. He looked straight at the manager because <laughs> the one that's supposed to manage us let us know what to do. This nigga looks at all of us like he's the head of some type of council and says we have to do what we have to do. It's a special. And scoops the meat off of the ground. We serve. So on that Tuesday at 12 o'clock, if your stomach was f***ed up, that's why. And the other thing, there was a roach swimming around in the pizza sauce. I had seen, ah! seen it after I had served like fucking 10 pizzas, so I didn't know what else to say. This gets a 5 out of 10. Moving on, second, retail. Now, working retail... Re horrible. Was literally the customers, the god dang customers. Food. And this is because you don't have to worry about hungry customers. Nasty food messes. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe this works at like... A Walmart, but I worked at a bougie at a bougie H E B. Bougie customers are absolutely egregious to deal with, bro. I remember this one time. Actually, before I even yeah, y'all, 
when you have condiments, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, where do you put it? When you put up the groceries, where do you put it? Where do condiments go? And what kitchen utility do condiments go inside of? Hmm, y'all are kind the refrigerator. The refrigerator, right? Am I tripping? I'm not tripping. Bro, bro, I was bagging this lady's stuff. So I had, and I was solid at bagging, bro. Had her pro her produce in one bag. I had her cold stuff in another bag. And then I had her cereal and pantry items in the other bag. Produce here, cereal here. I grab one singular thing of mustard. Mind you, she is not looking at or helping me bag at all. I put it in the refrigerator bag. She grabs that whole fast. Are you, it's, what did she say? What did she say? She says, why would you put this in this bag? Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, I, I'm, I was just putting it in the cold bag. She's like, what did she say? She said, just, just stop. Just stop bagging my stuff. Literally does that. Bro. Bro. And what you got to realize, she's bougie and rich. Bougie and rich people are, a, they can afford to give, cursing off. They can afford to give a fuck where their, mush, where their mustard goes in a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have no problems. You do not have to worry about rent. If I'm worried about rent, I'm not tripping over where some random guy puts my mustard in. You know what I mean? And that's why dealing with bougie customers, bro, they get extremely passionate about the, the, the most nonsensical things, bro. I had this one dude yell at me because um, HEB charges for bags. Why are you yelling at me? Nigga, I'm not the one that picked the charge for the bag. You're rich. What are we doing? You, what are we? Bro, bro. No, bougie customers are the worst, bro. The mess that comes with a retail associate is different. We'll get there. The coworkers and managers. These coworkers are probably going to be the coolest people you have in all Hell no! Live your work life. Y'all are all in the same position. You're gonna see some baddies there. You're gonna meet some. Oh, you said coworkers. I thought you said customers. My fault. My fault. I got PTSD, bro. My coworkers were dope. I had cool coworkers. Real niggas. And y'all all basically the same, going through the same thing. The problem lies is because there's three types of associates that cares too much about their job. Willing yep. to live and die about ten dollars and fifty cents. The one that don't give a damn about their job at all. No matter how no busy it is, how fucked up it is, they're gonna be in the back scratching between their ass or something. And then there's me, the one in the middle. I care about my job. I don't wanna lose it. I'm gonna do exactly what's needed. On the other hand, I will not slave for you. No, you know what you gotta do? You gotta painfully do the bare minimum, bro. Cause if you're too good. They're going to start giving you more stuff to do. If you're too bad, you're going to get fired. If someone tells you to stock the tomatoes and there's an extra tomato can, you just cram the tomato can. You don't like put it like in another, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to like do exactly what they tell you and almost be a little incompetent. You know what I mean? Coming into that extra shit. No, I'm not staying late. If it has anything to do with me working harder here, or longer here, it's a no. So leave me alone and let me adjust these clothes and shoes. Oh yeah, the retailer that I used to work at was a big sporting goods at the mall. The traffic in and out was actually kind of crazy at times. With so much traffic and people going to and fro, there's only one type of manager, the dickhead. I'm talking about their. Ah, ah, cause it's my fault. Type that if everything was done, find some way to look busy. You can't stand in one spot too long. You gotta stay moving. What's that? You had one more extra minute on your lunch break? Do you know what we'll do to you? Get your bitch ass on that line. So yeah, keep that. In mind. <laughs> sure. One more thing about man. Hey, hey. hey. Do to you? Hey, this I caught. Hey, this man recorded on a different day. Get your bitch ass on that line. So yeah, get your bitch ass back in the recording studio. Two two takes for a ten minute video. Dior, lock in, bro. Dior, did you get tired? Come on, bro. In lock in, bro. About managers and retail. Curse. God dang it. Ah. That's 12 push-ups. Two? I did it twice? That's 15 push-ups. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Is there a need to rally everybody up at the front of the store for a meeting and talk about oh how many my sales God. you've made or didn't make? Bitch, my check is $9.30. Unless you're about to drop 10 bands in my account like a scammer, I don't care how much this store is made. Moving on Swear. to job difficulty. Also wasn't too bad, but it definitely was a level above fast food. You just have more responsibility than you would at a fast food restaurant. Making sure the store looks presentable. Fast food restaurants, we damn near got to talk to people like shit sometimes. And this is when I realize people can actually be dumb like NPC dumb. At Taco Bell, you can't be that dumb. You want taco, quesadilla, what do you want? At a retail Type. store though, you might receive some of the dumbest questions you've ever I can had. agree. Like I said, I worked in the shoe department. Why did a nigga come up to me and ask what size am I? And just point it down to his foot. I don't know if he <laughs> Bro, what? 
What? You're going to find out what size you are when I knock you out your shoes. Are you serious? Don't piss me off. Don't make me mad. Don't make me mad. He thought working at the footwear and dick sporting goods meant that visually I could look at anybody's shoe and be able to tell what size they were. And then other little petty things. Ask you where the restroom is with a sign right next to him that says the restroom is right here. Excuse me, do you guys sell shoes here by any chance? I can't cap. I be, I'm definitely a where's the bathroom uh, cursing off. I'm definitely a where's the bathroom ass nigga. I can't lie. Cursing back on. I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I can't like. But moving on to the bullshit, the worst, craziest things about working retail got to be those days when they hit you with sales, Labor Day, Cyber Monday, New oh. Year's sale, and the worst of them all, Black Friday. If you're watching this and you've experienced a Black Friday sale at a retail store, yeah, you nah. can't tell me you didn't want to go get in your car and drive straight into the building. People dead ass turn into an animal for a good deal. Half the time, it don't even be a good deal. You're getting $2 off. And how the dick sporting goods was <laughs> at the mall. We had plenty of inventory in the back, but we also had a lot of inventory in the front you could dead as pull the boxes out and look at the shoes that you wanted after that black friday it was time for all the associates to clean this mess up let's just say the state of the store looked like the aftermath of hiroshima debris come on bro come on bro come on bro that was that was crazy everywhere yellow tape from people getting trampled over this that was crazy so that was that crazy i give retail about a five out of ten and lastly for this video amazon delivery driver nope Nope, nope. They got y'all waiting in the water. Harriet Tubman need to save y'all. I will never be an Amazon driver, bro. I, J Bezos got y Bezos got y'all picking cotton, bro. No cap. That has to be one of the worst jobs. I want to start by saying if Jeff Bezos was 50 years old in the 1800s, that's what I'm saying. He would be the most wicked. Dior. Dior, Dior, swear, swear, swear. Slave master in the land. Because the way he do his employees. They be having the baddies though. I've, I've been hearing about like Amazon like warehouses. Y'all be like, turn the video up. I can't, Dior speaks in lowercase. I can't turn the video up. Like literally it's maxed. But I heard, I heard Amazon warehouses get down, bro. I heard it's like college dorm levels of bad. It's fucking crazy, nasty work. Light skins. You, yeah, you're right, Eli. Yeah, them darn light skins. Yeah, Eli. This is another job where the barrier to entry is not that high. The people that I worked with consisted of small, petite girl. Niggas that look like me. Old niggas. Old white women that needed two... You said you showed two people that look like you. What? Need sleeves, two arm sleeves, and a neck burn. Wait, hold, What? Job where the barrier to entry is not that high. The people that I worked with consisted of small, petite girl. Niggas that look like me. Dior. Yeah, old niggas. Dior. D you're like 20, you're like 27, aren't you? Old white women that needed two knee sleeves, two arm sleeves, and a neck burn. They will hire anybody as long as you get those packages to a motherfucker door. And if you didn't work Amazon, you may be asking. Why does it even really matter what your coworkers are like? Whenever you finish your route and delivering your packages, aren't you good? Well, my naive friend that's watching this video, no, it's your problem as well. Because Amazon has something called a rescue. See, a rescue okay. is whenever you finish your eight to 10 hour shift, call the dispatch to see if you're good to go back. Do not tell me he's gonna say what I think he's gonna say. He's Say, no, 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 little slave. We need you to drive another 45 minutes away to somebody else. Grab some of their packages and help them deliver their. Freak. No. Boy! Are you stupid? No. Yeah. No. No. Are you serious? Because I did my job, I got to go to someone else and help them finish? No. Nope, nope. Our eight to 10 hour shift as well. And it's funny how mm -mm. they phrase it because when you call them, they'll say, hey, can you do a rescue? I hear can. I say, no, not really, not today. Bro, why did they say, let me rephrase that. We need you to go ahead and go do a rescue, which leads into the managers. They come off nice at first, but they are cutthroat. Thing is, is Amazon doesn't really deliver the packages. There's something called DSPs, which basically okay. is you could go become the head of a DSP where you're delivering packages for Amazon. You just use their truck. Oh. Think of it like this. Okay. Chef is the main supplier, the El Chapo of this shit. Next are the people that buy it in bulk. And what do the people that buy it in bulk do? They give the work okay. to the corner boys that nickel and dime the pack. That's us. And we've all seen some type of drug show. So if there's any issue in Jeff's operation, somebody's getting executed. That puts a lot of pressure okay. on the managers. So much pressure. 
pressure that one time somebody couldn't take it anymore. In the middle of their shift, they got out the truck, left it, took an Uber back to their house, left the Amazon truck with the keys inside with a bunch of boxes in it. Most the definitely. Suited up like one of us and delivered the rest of those packages. I'm telling you, it's fucking crazy. Something's going on back there, bro. Going into job difficulty, this is high. It's not that it's rocket science or mentally difficult, but physically, it's physically taxing. But there's not yeah, really too nah, much to do in detail it. about that. It's time to move on to the bullshit. This is hand down the worst shit I've experienced at any job. Out of all of them that I had, the dogs. That mailman dog <laughs> that you see in cartoons, newspaper. Bro, no cap. No cap. If you, if I am delivering a package and you leave cupcake out in the yard and you know your package is getting delivered today. Don't get me tight. This is going to get me that. This is going to get me mad. This is, gonna, this is gonna get me mad, bro. For comics and shit, that is a real thing. And it happened on my first day. They used to send me on country routes in Austin. It was scenic, chill vibe. That's until you got onto one of two lawns. Them hillbilly motherfuckers, or those country Mexican family yards. Either <laughs> one of those two just know a dog finna get on your ass. Cause that's what country dogs are made for. To protect the land, let people know when people outside they shit. One time in particular, I pull up to a person's house. As soon as I get to the front door, their dog runs outside to the front of the house. This is one of the medium no. large dogs. I could tell he been through the ringer real rough he walk up to me on some cool nice dog shit so i hit him with the good dog good boy put my hand out like, i don't know this dumbass dog saw me as an intruder so fast growling barking walk see i was gonna throw this water bottle for a bit but knowing me it's gonna break bro i'm throwing your bro i'm throwing your i'm throwing your package like patrick mahomes bro i swear to god and i'm hoping i hit a window I, I swear, bro. That's so inconsiderate. Walking me down, circling me. I grabbed the package that I just... Yo-Yo can smell better than the dogs. Put down, start fighting the dog off with it. Bro, why did all this commotion call this nigga's brother over? An identical dog that looked just like <laughs> him immediately got on this time and ain't even try to settle the situation down. Now they're both circling me. The occasional jump at me. Real life 2v1. I played it smooth, played it smart. Bought both the dogs off with the package, just kept walking slowly. Didn't want to make no sudden movements, didn't want to run. So the, as soon as I got back over the gate, jumped over it, threw the package at him. Some nights out of my sleep, I wake up and just start barking from trauma. Overall, 3 out of 10. So to keep me <laughs> just start back, barking from like trauma. That, I beg you please like this video comment as well hey bro he needed i ain't gonna lie he, he needed he, he didn't even talk about how he used to shine shoes at the mall bro he done got my air forces right on multiple occasions bro dior been you know that one character that worked all the jobs in gumball that was dior bro i swear i swear bro dude didn't push up you're right 15 don't you got somewhere to be at 445 yeah i do dang i only got one reaction that's actually disrespectfully bad I'm a yapper, bro. <sighs> All right, 15. Golly. Golly, man. Curse my All right, that was my reaction to What Your Job Says About You by Astral Dior. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.